How are you guys doing? Welcome to a special episode where I'll be showing you guys M Master League Online Team Level 1. Now, this is the team as you saw in the previous episode which I won the Junior Cup for Team Level 1. And these guys are my champions. Now, let's go quickly through the goalkeeper. Perfect J Line, what's special about him? He is. What's special about him, I mean, sorry. Um, he's the defensive goalkeeper. He's left footed, he's got a good 101 and high ball handling. And with other status, uh, goalkeeping is go 80, so he's reasonably good. And the other guys I want to talk about is that Al Apsi, nothing special, just pace which I need. The Rata, he's perfect here, as you see, a reasonably good status. Um, my f my best defender is actually this guy, Delena. I mean, this guy is unbelievable. Look at his dribbling, his dribble speed, his speed and agility, speed, explosive power, 80, jump. Passing and dribbling. This is this guy. I mean, I, I don't know why he's rated uh, 75 because he's, he's amazing. He can finish. He can defend. Uh, uh, my other favorite uh, defender is Jose Manuel Rojas. This guy is rated only 74. Look at this guy. His work rate 80. Um, reasonably good passing and dribbling. Uh, explosive power is what I need. You know, when you're trying to defend against a player who does a speed burst, this is what good for. Um, other players here, uh, Fobriot, he's a good, I needed an offensive fullback, which he fills that space. Aroka, he's a good box-to-box -box player. Our Frank Yankovic, he's a good dribbler in the midfield, very good positioning. He's got a good rating of dribble speed, of speed and agility, uh, dribbling, ball control, explosive power. This is what you need for Association League. Sugai, you may think this guy, okay, Rev 74, no. Nothing special about him, I don't think so. He's got 80 work rate, strength in air. This is what you need. You need a center midfielder who can intercept the high balls because many people on Master League Online, when they play, they exfoliate certain things, which is basically they use a tall striker from goal kick, a long punt ball to their striker, and then a little header pass it to the other striker, and it will go through. So you need a high center midfielder, a tall, sorry, a tall center midfielder who has a high strength in air. And this guy is perfect for that. I mean, he's got reasonably. Look at his speed: 79 explosive power, 81 jump, 85. So he's perfect for that. He also can play as a right back. His status goes one up. So this is one of the good players. My top scorer is Contao and uh, Quirag, which is one of the best players that I've signed recently. Uh, Say it is good. He doesn't really have much pace, but what I like about him. He's got the early cross card, as you see here, card number 6. And um, you can see he's more of a passer and creative playmaker, long ball accuracy. Uh, not, not very good with the pace, but I don't run with him, I'm just trying to... Uh, he's more of a playmaker. Kuroki, as everybody has it, I don't need to say anything about him, but I don't abuse him. I don't put him in the first half. He's a super sub, and every time I sub him in, as you saw in my previous episode in the final, as soon as I subbed him in, first touch and he scored. Great positioning. Abdul Rahman, he's the best cheap dribbler you can ever have. I mean, he's got all the cards that you need for a dribbler. And um, Majidi here, he's one of my best strikers as well, a goal poacher. He's got what you need for Association League. Speed, explosive power, dribbling, ball control, reasonably good low pass, elusiveness to kind of steal himself from defenders or lose his marker. Speed and agility, A3, penetration, how good he is to dribble past opponents. And he also, as a right midfielder, if you use him as a right midfielder, the status increases to 78. So, um, so is the Abdul Rahman. I never play him as a CF. I normally play him as a second striker, or I play him as a right back, which you can see his status goes up um, as well. So, the other players you can see here, guys, I don't want to go through every single one of them. This guy, most of the people have this guy. He's unbelievably good. He plays a left back or left midfielder or wing forward. I wouldn't say he's, I would never use him for a left back because he is very, very offensive. So, um, unless you are losing, uh, he's a right back actually, sorry. You can see his stats 77. Unless you are losing, you want to use a player like that because of his uh, defensive attribute. Interception 68 and covering 73. So, he's not really a left back or a full back you want to defend with him. Uh, but he's good. Overall, he is, he's a really good player. So um, that's our, nothing special about the goalkeeper, I just wanted to have a little sub in case 
of our main goalkeeper gets tired or drained. So um, that's our team level 1 guys. I mean, I can't say this is the best team level 1 you can have. But if you like a variety of playing, long balls, passing, dribbling, team play, this is the team for you. I mean, I've won Junior Cup with it, which is for team level 1. So um, I don't depend on pace a lot. Saying that, I do have pacey players. If you give me a chance, I will do so. So if you like a team that's having an overall strong team, then this is a team for you. I can show you guys the team's overall attribute if you just try to release a player here. Every time you sign or release a player, it will show up your team's attribute. Uh, your highest rated player is basically affects your team's strength level. And as you see here, our passing is 81, speed and physicality 86, 83. This, what, this is what you need for uh, Association League. Your speed and physicality, this is the most important thing. But I care about my dribbling and passing. Shooting and defense, not much because I do play offensive sometimes. So what, what you need for Association League is your speed and physicality. Some people doesn't care about the passing. But uh, as you saw in my previous um, episode when I played in the final, I had some great passing, even the episodes before in the semi-final in the first knockout. The passing was great, so it does come useful, just don't go for pace only. So this is our team level 1 squad of 23 players. If you're playing in a competition, you need 23 players because they will get tired when you play constantly. We have our hall player, dummy runner, goal poacher, creative playmaker, and prolific winnaker. Offensive fullback, box to box, destroyer. Oh, sorry guys, my voice just went there. Um, offensive fullback, and then you know, just overall, these were just card based. So um, if you like, if you guys like this video, if you want me to do more videos about team level two and three and four, um, just give us a thumb up and tell me what you guys think. Comment, share, subscribe. I also like to thank all my subscribers for the support. I've been Pesep. Until next time, ciao for now.